Go. For children who have a left sphenoid wing lesion, uh, this is an appropriate incision. For young girls especially, it's important to try to preserve as much of their hair as possible. So as you can see, we pulled some of her hair anteriorly. The rest of her hair is back here. And we try to keep the incision and the clipping of the hair along the incision line as thin as possible. So this will allow us to retract her anterior left frontal scalp as much as possible in order to do a safe and cosmetically acceptable biopsy of the left sphenoid wing lesion. Additionally, it's nice to use stealth for uh, left sphenoid wing lesions in order to plan not only the proper incision, but to plan where to biopsy. If you look on the screen over here to the left, you can see that this is the area of bony involvement of the left sphenoid wing. So using the stealth, to localize where you should actually make your biopsy, it helps to plan your incision in the biopsy area appropriately.